in this episode, I'm going to shatter any preconceived notion you have about what your resume is for. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IAPath. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at iPath, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to iPath.com. Now, many job seekers are confused about resumes, and for good reason. I believe a resume is one of the strangest documents ever invented. For many people, it feels like the goal of a resume is to boil down your life's work. Scratch that, to summarize who you are as a person in as few words as possible so others can make a split second decision on whether you're a right fit for their company. You think I'm exaggerating? One study showed that recruiters only spend six seconds reviewing a resume. Yup, you heard that right. You and your career are judged based on a piece of paper or digital representation of it in six seconds. Seconds. You may have a similar reaction to what I did. I had a righteous indignation rise up. What in the world? You can't judge off a piece of paper if someone's a good fit. Much less than six seconds. How can they do that? And that is a good question that we should be asking. Within this nugget of information, we can realize many things. One, nobody is reading your resume at first they're scanning it. Two, recruiters and HR are looking for a reason to throw your resume into the do not hire pile. And three, we need to give them what they're looking for so they can do their job easier and find the right candidate, which is us, of course. I wanna challenge the way you look at a resume. This isn't your job history, and it isn't a synopsis of who you are. This is an advertisement for you to a potential employer. It may feel weird to think about you working on an ad of yourself, but in case you're feeling pushback, let's think about this. If you were asked to join a luxury annual car club where you can swap out your car every week or year, it would probably have a high price tag. Let's say the cost was thirty to $70,000 each year. I bet you'd have to read one heck of an ad to consider it, you'd be looking for, is it worth the cost? And that's exactly what we're asking potential employers to do, to sign us on to pay us thirty to $70,000 a year to come work for their company. When you think of it that way, we can't just be documenting facts. We need to be selling value and solving pain points and problems with our traits, skills, and characteristics that the recruiters are looking for, that they need to digest in our six second ad that they take to look at us. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. First off, there's an ATS. 
an applicant tracking system. This applicant tracking system is used by many employers and for us, that means insurance companies and adjusting firms, they're using this software program to find the best candidates for the job. These candidates are selected and shown to a hiring manager. On average, 250 people apply for each job posted and companies are looking to reduce that down to less than 10. They use the software to filter out the candidates that are obviously not a qualified fit for the job. I know what you're thinking. Are you telling me a computer is saying whether I'm a good fit or not? In short, yeah, but don't panic. If you understand the rules of the game, you can play to win. So that's why you're watching this video, to understand what your resume is for and what you can do about it. Taking what we know so far about resumes, we can map out what I call the three O's to a resume. Number one is the object. Number two is the outcome. And number three is the obstacles. First off, the object. The object of your resume is to highlight parts of you and your life's work in an advertisement that sells a potential employer on your ability to successfully perform the job you're applying for. The outcome. The desired outcome of your resume is to get an interview. Sure, we want a job, but a resume can't get us a job. It can only get us an interview. And lastly, obstacles. The obstacles to us getting that interview are the ATS or applicant tracking system, the recruiter in HR scanning our resume in six seconds, and ultimately the hiring manager. Those three O's set the stage for us to develop a strategy of how to accomplish our outcome. It tells us the lay of the land and all the preparation in our career to this point and our decision to pursue insurance adjusting, even our education, training, and hard work has led us to this, our resume and our strategy. If you need help in crafting your resume and developing a strategy of how to present your skills and accomplishments in your career into an adjuster resume, you should check out the Adjuster's Resume Playbook. John Bachman and myself wrote this book to help you go line by line to make sure your resume helps you get that interview. If you're interested in finding out how to become an insurance adjuster at an insurance company, check out our new book, The Insurance Adjuster's Playbook. You can find both these books on Amazon or at iPath.com slash books. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you write along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV. My name is Chris Stanley and we at IAPATH are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to IAPATH.com and click the how to find work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week, Keep walking your path and claiming your life.